Okay, and here's that letter in the book two. And we're doing page 32. It's called bass runs. So what is a bass run? The bass run is when you play a note on the sixth string, fifth string, or fourth string. Those are your bass strings. So you're going to have a G chord, right? So you form the G chord, the whole G chord, like this. Your normal one finger here, your two finger here, your three finger here, right? So all your chords are on string book one on the last page. That's your full three G string chord. So form it. Pick string six on exercise 60, on beat one, and on beat two, strum all the strings. But on beats three and four, you take your fingers off and do a bass run. Open A and B2. And then for the next measure, it says C, form the whole C chord. Third finger, second finger, first finger. And play string five on beat one. Strum all the strings on beat two. And on beats three and four, where do you play? A bass run. That's B, open B, I mean B2 and A open. So all together. One, For when people sing, it's, nice, it's a nice accompaniment type of pattern. Six one, there's no chords. You're just playing bass notes, bass runs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on exercise 62, form your whole G chord. That's your one finger here, two fingers here, and three fingers way down there. Okay? You're going to pick string six on beat one, strum all strings on beat two, and then play single bass notes on beat three and beat four C. Open D, but form the D chord on the second measure. And play beat, on beat one, play four, string four. Strum all strings on beat two. And on beats three and four, you play bass notes, or bass runs. So all together, 62 is...